ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد فان احسن الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدى هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ثم اما بعد so the immediate thought that came to the mind when deciding which words from ahlul ilm al ulama that i should share with you and yani when the brothers announced the theme of these series of lectures yani from the zakat al qalb the tasqi of the qalb the purification of the heart then the immediate thought that came to the mind was to share with you the words of our sheikh waliduna sheikh salih al fawzan hafizahullah ta'ala when he explained the kalam of the imam sheikh al islam ibn al qayyim rahimahullah kalam ayyuhal ikhwa that is wallahi jamil kalam daqiq yani kalam that is precise and integral integral yani kalam that is yani jamil nafis thamin dhu fawa'id jamma ayyuhal ikhwa kalam ayyuhal ikhwa that can only be described with such awsaf and that is when the sheikh he explained the kitab the kitab of the imam اغاثه اللحفان في مصايد الشيطان اغاثه اللحفان في مصايد الشيطان الكتاب that the imam he wrote from the many books that he wrote concerning the masayid of the shaytan the يعني the makai the traps the traps of a shaytan those traps that he places for bani adam fawaid ayyuh wa that uh numerous way too numerous yani f- for us to do any kind of justice to the amount of fawaid that are, that are within this kitab this kitab ayyuh wa this is a kitab dhakhm this is just one volume of it ayyuh wa it's a kitab dhakhm dhakhm yani it's a, f- a large book two volumes and what we're covering is just a few uh yani words from the imam and the explanation of our sheikh going to maybe just the first five lessons the lesson the the, the dros uh, and the amount of dros that it took the sheikh to to explain and complete this kitab was over 100 maybe 110 more more lessons to explain this kitab over numerous years over seven years now uh but we only share just a few of this for white and because there's so many you'll probably get straight to it and so after the basmala and the hamdala ibn al-qayyim rahimahullah he says fa inna allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lam yakhluq khalqahu sudan muhmalan bal ja'alahum mawridan lit taklif that allah tbarak wa ta'ala he didn't create his creation sudan yani in vain and without purpose muhmalan neglected without purpose 
بل جعلهم موردا للتكليف rather he made them as subjects burdened with responsibility نعم بل جعلهم موردا للتكليف ومحلا للامر والنهي rather he made them subjects burdened burdened with responsibility those who he would place upon them commands and prohibitions وَأَلْزَمَهُمْ فَحْمَ مَا أَرْشَدَهُمْ إِلَيْ مُجْمَلًا وَمُفَصَّلًا And he, يعني he made it binding upon them that they understand that which he يعني, uh, has guided them to and that which he يعني, requests from them. مُجْمَلًا يعني In a general sense وَمُفَصَّلًا And likewise in a detailed sense. يعني they understand the guidance of Allah and that which Allah commands them with in a general sense, but also yani, that they, uh, it, is, it is necessary that they understand also the details whenever details of that guidance is required. Naam. وَقَسَّمَهُمْ إِلَى الشَّقِي وَسَعِيدِ وَجَعْلَ لِكُلِّ وَاحِدٍ مِنَ الْفَرِيقَيْنِ مَنْزِلًا He divided them, his creation, he divided them into shaqi, those who were wretched, wasaid, and those who are يعني, uh, blessed and, and, and happy. وَجَعْلَ لِكُلِّ وَاحِدٍ مِنَ الْفَرِيقَيْنِ مَنْزِلًا And he made for each, each one of these two groups, he made for them يعني, an abode. Uh, فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ سُعِدُوا فَفِلْ Jannah. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he mentions, as, as for those who يعني, uh, are happy, then they, they, they are in Jannah. As for those who are wretched, then they are in the fire. Naam. وَأَعْطَاهُمْ So again, this is still the kalam of Ibn al-Qayyim. وَأَعْطَاهُمْ مَوَادُ الْعِلْمِ وَال, وَالْعَمَلِ And he gave them the components required to, to obtain knowledge, al to obtain that knowledge and that understanding that they need to have. And Amr, he gave them those components that they need for these two things, knowledge and action. Min al-qalb, those components of what? The ha, he gave them a ha, was sam'a, hearing, wal basa, sight, wal jawarih. And he gave them yeah, the, the, their organs, their limbs. Sheikh Al Fawzan Hafidullah Ta'ala he says Hadi Adawat Yudrak Bihal Ilm. These these adawat and these organs and through these means that Allah has given them, it is through these organs that they acquire that knowledge, and that knowledge is acquired. Now وَالسَّمْعَ وَالْبَصْرَ وَالْقَلْبَ وَالْقَلْبَ هَذِهِ يُدْرَكْ بِهَا الْعِلْمِ وَهَذِهِ يَتَمَيِّزْ بِهَا الْإِنسَانِ عَلَى غَيْرِهِ مِنَ الْهَيَوَانَاتِ Through these things, the human being is distinguished from the rest of the animals. This is what distinguishes the human being from the rest of the animals. Now, well, and Ibn Qayyim, he continues, and he says, وَلَمَّا كَانَ الْقَلْبَ لِهَذِ الْأَعْضَى كَمَلِكْ المتصرف في الجنود and when the heart as it relates to the rest of these organs and these body parts يعني when it was when it's the when it was the case that the قلب is like the malik the king the king المتصرف who administers and orders his junood, like the king who orders and, 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 and administers his army, his soldiers. تَصْدُرُهُ كُلُّهَا عَنْ أَمْرِهِ وَيَسْتَعْمِلُهَا فِي مَا يَشَاءُ All of them, يعني, like the soldiers, all of them, they proceed يعني, from the commands of the king. And so likewise, the body parts, 
they all proceed forward based on the commands given to them by the heart. Based on the commands given to them by the heart. And just like as the Malik, the king, he uses his soldiers in the way that he sees fit. In the way that he sees fit. فَكُلُّهَا تَحْتَ عُبُودِيَّتِهِ وَقَحْرِهِ So just like the soldiers are all under his servitude, the servitude of the king, يعني their servants to him, and under his يعني subjection and control, then the body parts are the same. They are under the control and subjection and control, نعم, and they are overpowered by the, by the heart. وَتَتَّسِدْ مِنْهُ الْإِقَامَ وَالزَّيْغَ And likewise these organs, they acquire from the heart, they acquire from the heart either uprightness or زَيْغَ Misguidance, deviation. نعم وَتَتَّبِعَهُمْ فِي مَا يَعْقِدُهُ مِنَ الْعَزْمِ أَوْ يَهُلُّ And they follow it. The, 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 the rest of the body parts, they follow the heart in that which it resolves and that which يعني, it is determined to do or that which it, it wants to leave they follow the heart now Sheikh al Fawzan he says and he mentions the hadith the hadith of the Rasul in al halal bayin wa in al haram bayin indeed the halal the lawful matters are clear and the haram and the forbidden matters are clear. وَبَيْنَهُمَا وَبَيْنَهُمَا مُشْتَبِهَا Between them are the doubtful matters. لَا يَعْلَمُهُنَّ كَثِيرٌ مِنَ النَّاسِ يعني Many from amongst the people are unaware of them. فَمَنِ اتَّقَ الشُّبَهَاتِ The hadith as you, you know, you know, بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى You know that. So whoever uh, يعني avoids the shubahat, the doubtful matters, then he protects his religion and he protects his honor. And whoever falls into the shubahat and goes towards the shubahat, the doubtful matters, waqa'a fi mada in haram. He follows. He so he he falls into haram. Karra like the shepherd who yani who. Uh, yani, uh, rears his flock close to the boundaries of the sanctuary. And yani, if he gets too close, then it is very likely that his, sh his flock, and there will be those from his flock that will go beyond the boundaries. Now, yani, the hadith, you all know, bin al ta'ala, until the saying of the Rasul within the same hadith, Allah inna fil jasadi mubgha. Indeed, in the body is mubgha. Naam. Ida salahat, salahat jasad kullu. If it is yani, upright and sound, then the rest of the body is sound. And if it is, Corrupt, then the rest of the body is corrupt. But here, what's the connection between the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi mentioning the beginning that the halal is clear and the haram is clear and between them are doubtful matters? Why then did the Rasul Sallallahu mention this affair? The affair of the body and the heart. What's the connection between these two matters? Anyone know? No? Naam, naam, naam. Naam, yani, the ma'na of what you're saying is correct and, and comes under what the Sheikh is, is going to say here now. What we understand and we see the kalam of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and how it was that, yani, he had that jawam al kalam. Yani, ala inna fil jasadi mubgha, ida salahat salah jasadi kullu. And the halal is bayin and the haram is bayin. Meaning those affairs, even though they're clear, the halal is clear and the haram is clear, 
those of us, the Shaykh says, فالحلال بين والحرام بين ولكن هذا يعتمد على تمييز القلب والفقه القلب وحياته. But that depends. The halal, the halal being clear, the haram being clear, it depends on the heart. If the heart is sound, then it's clear to him. You see the connection? If the heart is clear, if the heart is, is sound and upright, then the halal and the haram is clear to him. But if, if the heart is not sound, and likewise he will stay away from the mushtabahat. He will stay away from the doubtful matters. But if the heart is not sound and upright, then he goes beyond the boundaries of Allah. And he falls into haram. Now, فَالْقَلْبَ رَاعٍ عَلَى الْأَعْضَى وَهُوْ مَسْؤُولْ عَنْ رَأِيَّتِهِ So the heart is a shepherd. The heart is a shepherd over the rest of the body parts. And it is mas'ul, it is responsible over its flock. And it is dakhil fil hadith. The heart يعني, is included within the hadith and included in the meaning of kullukum ra'in. Kullukum ra'in wa mas'ulun an ra'iyyati. The heart, the heart comes into this. That all of you are a shepherd and each one of you is, يعني, is responsible for and will be asked concerning his flock. The heart comes under this. The heart is a shepherd likewise. Now, وَهَذَا الْكِتَابَ يَنْبَنِ عَلَى هَذَا الْحَدِيثِ تَقْرِيبًا This whole kitab, this whole kitab, two big volumes like this, is, is built upon this hadith. تَقْرِيبًا You know, almost everything in this kitab is based on this hadith. The affair of the heart. The affair of the heart because we see that the affair goes back to the heart. Now, كله بيان لكيد الشيطان لابن آدم ومحاولته إفساد القلوب. All of it is is an explanation of the traps of a shaytan for Ibn Adam, for the son of Adam, and his attempts, his attempts in corrupting the hearts. Now, and so if the hearts, the Shaykh he says, that if the hearts are corrupted. فَلَا فَائِدَةَ فِي الْجِسْمِ If the hearts are corrupt, then there's no benefit in the body. There's no benefit to the body. نعم وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ أَصَحِّ النَّاسِ وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ أَصَحِّ النَّاسِ Even if it's from the most healthiest of people, يعني physically, his body, and fit as they say, someone who is fit, you know, يعني in, in, a, uh, in the best of states, physically, and as it relates to his, his health. Now, لو كان من إصح الناس صحة عضوية. يعني he's healthy as it relates to his organs, يعني يعني physically. إلا أنه إذا كان مريضا مرضا معنويا فلا فائدة للصحة العضوية يفسد الجسد يفسد الجسد كله بفساد القلب. As for if he or the heart يعني is, is sick the heart is sick يعني with a sickness that is معنويا يعني so he's physically his heart is sound and it pumps it works يعني he's alive and he walks and he's, he, he's in a good physical state but his heart is sick يعني the sickness معنويًا يعني in in the moral and abstract sense يعني his heart is sick his heart is sick and so يعني there's no benefit to him being physically healthy نعم ولم نعم نعم ولما علم عدو الله إبليس ابن القيم he says when إبليس when he knew أن المدار على على القلب والاعتماد عليه أجلب عليه بالوسواس. and when he knew إبليس when he knew that the, the, the affair revolves around the heart and all of it goes back to the heart and that the affair relies upon this then he comes to them with 
whiskers. He comes to them with whiskers. Now, so the chef he says that he believes he is determined, determined to corrupt the hearts. And because of what he knows from the heart, the affair of the heart, and that if it is corrupted, then the actions of Bani Adam become corrupted and his i'tiqadat and his beliefs. If he corrupts the heart, then his actions will become corrupt and his beliefs will become corrupt, corrupted. Now, and so a shaitan, he is determined to come and to bring these whispers and to inject his whispers into the thoughts of Bani Adam and to preoccupy the hearts away from the obedience of Allah and to preoccupy them with shahwat with fulfilling their desires with fulfilling their desires and likewise with shubuhat with doubts because he knows that if he corrupts the heart istirahim ibn adam then he's at ease he's, he's at ease and able to rest as it relates to the son of adam and he's, yeah, and he's achieved his goal now and so for this reason this is why he brings his doubts and his whispers now وَلَمَّا مَنَّ اللَّهُ الْكَرِيمُ بِلُطْفِهِ بِالْإِطِلَاعِ عَلَى مَا أَطْلَعَ عَلَيْهِ مِنْ أَمْرَاضِ الْقُلُوبِ نعم وَأَدْوَائِهَا وَمَا يَعْرِضْ لَهَا مِنْ وَسْوَاسِ الشَّيْطَانِ أَعْدَاءَ أَعْدَاءَهَا نعم وَمَا يَعْرِضْ لَهَا مِنْ وَسْوَاسِ الشَّيَاطِينِ أَعْدَاءَهَا وَمَا تثملها تلك الوسواس من الأعمال وما يكتسب القلب بعدها من الأحوال that when Allah تبارك وتعالى from his kindness after knowing that which يعني comes to the hearts from sickness and diseases and that which is, which is displayed to them by way, by way, by way of whispers from the shayateen, the, those whispers that they يعني, uh, throw at the يعني, Bani Adam, and that which is resulted, or what, that which results from these desires, these uh, whispers, يعني, by way of actions that then come about, by way of يعني, those uh, يعني, corrupted actions and that the heart then takes on يعني, the various states and conditions يعني, which it is liable to يعني, uh, take it on due to it being corrupted فَإِنَّ الْعَمَلَ السَّيِّئِ مَصْدَرُهُ عن فساد قلب القلب قصد القلب عفوا نعم because the source of the يعني the, the, the evil actions is the corrupt intent of the heart ثم يعرض للقلب من فساد العمل قصوى and then that which comes to the heart after the corruption of one's actions is qaswa yani stiffness and hard, yani this hardness that overtakes the heart it becomes a heart that is yani hardened fayazdad maradan ala maradi hatta yamut and so it increases and it keeps and it continues to get sick the heart continues to get sick and sick up until it dies up until the heart dies. And so the Shaykh, having Allah Ta'ala, Shaykh al Fawzan, he says that the ma'asi to qasti al the sins, they harden the heart. Disobedience hardens the heart. Thumma fi nihaya tuhitu bihi wa yutba'ali. Then at the end, 
the sins encompass the heart, surround the heart, until there is a seal put on the heart. Nay. But rather there is a ran, a seal and a cover on their hearts due to that which they used to earn. Now, and so these sins and disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the following of the desires and the shahawat to qasr qalb wa tumridu. They harden the heart and they make the heart, they, 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 they cause it to, to become sick. And then they grow and grow. The sins, the sins continue to grow and grow and enumerate until there is a cover on the, on the heart. So the truth is not able to penetrate it. Wala nur, wala hidayah. The truth, the light, yani of guidance, the hidayah is not able to penetrate the heart anymore. Now, so after mentioning this and more, but as we mentioned, we're summarizing here. The, the Imam he says, I want to an uqayyid thalik fi hadha al-kitab li astafkira. And when this is the case, yani the heart has this station, and the affair goes back to the heart, and that, uh, that, that uh, shaitan, Iblis, that he knew this. And because he knew this, that he came and he comes to Bani Adam with whispers, and everything that we mentioned, then for this reason, then I wrote this kitab. This is all just an introduction here. He says, for this reason I wrote this kitab. إِغَابْتُ الْأَحْفَانِ فِي مَسَادِ الشَّيْطَانِ Yani, uh, rescuing the one who is yani, distraught and in need of being saved from the traps of shaitan. It is for this reason he wrote this kitab. Now, وَسَمَّيْتُ وَسَمَّيْتُ And I named it إِغَابْتُ الْأَحْفَانِ فِي مَسَادِ الشَّيْطَانِ وَرَتَّبْتُهُ ثَلَاثَةَ عَشَرَ بَابًا And I arranged it Yani in 13 chapters. 13 chapters. The very last chapter, the 13th chapter, that, that is what takes up most of the book. And that is where, where, where that, within that chapter, he mentions the traps of shaitan. The various traps. Everything before it is like a muqaddimah, an introduction, and laying down some foundations. Now, and so, the sheikh, he, he mentions, um, yani, that the qalb, idamat, if it dies, فَلَا إِلَاجَ إِلَاجَ There's no heart, there's no uh, يعني, uh, cure for it. There's no cure for it. الميت لو تجيب له أطباء الدنيا The one who dies, if you bring all of the doctors of the world, you bring him. Or you bring them. You bring all of the doctors of the world to give him life, they're not, they're not able to do so. They're not able to do so. Now, and so likewise the heart. The heart. If it dies, then no one is able to give it life except for Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. Except for Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. Now, Bab al Awwal, in Qisam al Qulub, ila Sahih, Saqim, wa Mayyit. And so this is something you're going to hear all the way through now. The Imam he says that the hearts are divided into Sahih, the heart which is sound, wa Saqim, the heart which is sick وميت, and the heart that is dead the Shaykh Fawzan he says القلب, أمير الجسد, وأمير الأعضاء. The, the heart is the Amir the leader of the Jasad the leader of the body and the leader of the rest of the organs if it is sound then the rest of the body is sound and if it is corrupted then the rest of the body is corrupted the Hadith this is the Asal and the, and the origin as it relates to the heart of the Muslim, the believer. As for the qalb al-kafir, wal-mushrik, wal-munhid, the heart of the kafir, the mushrik and the munhid, فَهُوَ qalb mayyit. Then, it is, that is the heart, or he, it is his heart that is, it is dead. لَا حَيَاتَ فِي There is no life in it. 
لأنه لم ينفذ إليه الوحي ونور المنزل. Because again, revelation and يعني that light that revealed light يعني the revelation and the guidance is not able to penetrate it. It is not able to penetrate it. It is dead. لا حياة فيه. Now, the Sheikh he says, الذي تحيا به القلوب that which would give that which gives life to the hearts. القلوب تحيا بالوحي. The hearts are given life through the revelation. Now, كما تحيا الأرض بالمطر. Just as the earth is given life from or by way of the rain. Now, فإذا غلق وصول الوحي إلى إلى القلب مات وأظلم. And so if the revelation is cut off from reaching the heart, then it dies and أظلم. It becomes dark. The heart, the heart becomes dark. كما يأتي وأصبح قلبا مظلما منكوسا. يعني as the Imam as is going to come, meaning the, the Imam will explain that how it becomes dark. It becomes a heart that is darkened, a heart that is يعني منكوسا يعني inverted. It is a heart that is inverted, turned inside out. It is a heart that is inverted. هذا قلب الكافر. This is the قلب of the kafir. وقلب المؤمن أيضا قد يكون كامل الحياة ليس به مرض. The heart, the heart of the believer, it can be يعني a heart which has complete life, كامل الحياة, complete life, fully alive. There is no sickness within, within it. وقد يكون فيه مرض. But there could also be the heart of the, of the believer who has a sickness. His heart has a sickness. وهذا المرض ينقسم إلى قسمين. And this sickness is 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 of two types. The sickness that comes upon the heart uh, the hearts is of two types. مرض النفاق. The first is the sickness of nifaq of hypocrisy. والعياذ بالله. Like Allah Subhanahu wa Taala He says in the Quran, في قلوبهم مرض فزادهم فزادهم الله مرضا. وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَلِيمٌ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْذِبُونَ يعني in their hearts is a sickness the munafiqeen in their hearts is a sickness and so Allah increase them in that sickness and for them is a painful torment that which they used to يعني deny them belay now this is the marad of kufr and the marad of nifaq this is the sickness of kufr and nifaq of hypocrisy disbelief and hypocrisy the second type is marad al-mu'asi Marad al-Mu'asi, the sickness of disobedience and the sins. Now, هذا قد يحصل للمؤمن. This can come upon the believer. The marad of al-Mu'asi was shubahat, was shahawat. The sickness of disobedience, of desires and doubts. قد تحصل لقلب المؤمن فيكون قلبه حيا ومريضا فيه مادتان. The, the heart of the believer he can have within it life but also sickness فيه مادتان. There are two matters within it, two substances within his heart, two matters. مادة طيبة يعني a matter which is good and pure ومادة خبيثة and a matter which is evil, wicked and filthy نعم وهو لما غلب عليه and he is uh, he belongs to that substance which overpowers him نعم إن غلبت عليه المادة الطيبة صار طيبا if the good matter of the heart and that, يعني that component of his heart, that substance, the good substance, the pure substance of his heart, يعني overtakes him, then he becomes طيب, just like his heart. نعم, or that part of his, or that component of his heart. وَإِنْ غَلَبَتْ عَلَيْهِ الْمَادَةَ الْخَبِيثَةَ صَارَ الْخَبِيثَةَ And if the 
part of his heart that is wicked and evil, if that overtakes, takes him and overpowers the rest of the heart, then he also becomes khalifan. Now, وَبِنَاءً عَلَى ذَلِكَ فَيَجِبْ عَلَى الْمُؤْمِنِ أَنْ يَحْتَمْ بِقَلْبِهِ أَكْثَرْ مِمَّا يَحْتَمْ بِبَدْنِهِ And so based on this, it is obligatory upon the believer that he is concerned with his heart more than he is concerned with his body. Now, Ibn Qayyim, he says, لَمَّا كَانَ الْقَلْبِ يُوسَفْ بِالْحَيَاءِ وَضِدِّهَا Now, لَمَّا كَانَ الْقَلْبِ يوسف بن حياء وضدها انقسم بحسب ذلك الى هذه الاحوال الثلاثه. So when the heart, when it was, when, when, يعني the fact that it is described with these, يعني it is described with having life and with having its opposite, يعني having, uh, يعني it being a heart that is dead, يعني a heart can be described with having life and it can be described as being dead. Yani, be, that being the case, then due to this, it is, yani, the heart takes on these three states. Either it is a heart that is sahih, sound, healthy, yani, ma'nawi, as we said, in its moral, abstract sense, it is sound, and it is upright. It is, the qalb that is salim. Ibn Qayyim mentions, huwa al-qalb as-salim. It is that sound heart, that heart which Ibrahim a.s. he said, yawm, about it, he said, yawm la yanfa'u ma'lum wa la banoon illa man ata Allah bi qalb salim. The day on which neither wealth or children will avail a person except for the one who comes with the qalb that is Salim. Salim. Now, the Imam he mentions that um, Salim who was Salim. Salim who was Salim. Salim is the one who was Salim, and yani it is the same mubalagha. It is the same mubalagha, that, pat, that form or that pattern that is used in the Arabic language yani for mubalagha to exaggerate in the meaning of that particular description. Now, um, so Salim is ablagh. Yani, there's more of an exaggeration in that meaning, and it's stronger, yani, than Salim. Now, now, and it is used for that which, yani, uh, when we say, for example, that the Qalb is Salim, then, yani, it is that which had sarat as salama sifatan thabita lahu. Yani, it is a established description of that heart. It is established. Yeah, it's something which is fixed and established. Just like we say, يعني, uh, رجل قصير, رجل طويل. يعني, on that same pattern, Salim, طويل, قصير. It is a fixed description of him. Either he's tall or he's short. So the قلب, Salim. Yeah, it, is a, it is a fixed description of that heart. Now, Ibn Qayyim, he said, قد اختلفت قد اختلفت عبارات الناس في معنى القلب السليم. The people يعني differed concerning the meaning of قلب السليم. والأمر الجامع لذلك. And يعني the 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 most comprehensive way of describing it is this. أنه الذي قد سلم من كل شهوة تخالف أمر الله ونهيه. That it is the heart which is safe from every شهوة, every desire which opposes the command of Allah and His يعني prohibition. ومن كل شبه تعارض خبر. And from every, it is safe from every doubt which opposes his khabar, that which he is informed of. Now, فَسَلِمْ مِنْ عُبُودِيَّةِ مَا سِوَى So the heart is safe from worshipping everything besides him, everything besides Allah. وَسَلِمْ مِنْ تَحْكِيمْ غَيْرُ رُسُولِهِ 
and likewise it is safe from taking other than his messengers as a judge in his affairs or in his affairs. Now, and so Sheikh Al Fawzan, he says, بعد الانقياد لله والمحبة لله أيضا أيضا يتابع الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم. And so after being compliant to Allah and loving Allah Taala, he also follows the Rasul صلى الله عليه وسلم because he is مبلغ عن الله because he is يعني the one who conveyed from Allah عز وجل. قال بعض الصلف ابن القيم he says some of the صلف they said ما من فعلة وإن صغرت إلا ينشر لها ديوانان. There is not a single action, even if it is a small action, except there are, there are, there are two records that will be brought forward. Two records that will be brought forward. Lima wa kif. Lima wa kif. Why and how? Now, for the first sual, عن الإخلاص. So the first question is concerning one's ikhlas, one's sincerity. Was it for Allah? والثاني عن ماذا؟ متابعة الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم. And the second question is concerning the following of the Rasul صلى الله عليه وسلم. نعم. فإن الله سبحانه وتعالى لا يقبل عملا إلا بهما. That is because Allah تبارك وتعالى will not accept an action except through these, yeah, that which is done, yeah, I mean, through these two matters or with these two matters. Now, now, so that's the qalb as salim as sahih. The qalb al thani, the second heart, the dhaha, the opposite of this, the opposite of this. وهو القلب الميت is the heart that is dead الذي لا حياة به that which has no life in it فهو لا يعرف ربه ولا يعبده بأمره وما يحبه and so he doesn't worship him with his to his commands nor does it love him nor does it seek to please him بل هو واقف مع مع شهواته ولا ذاته rather it goes along with its with its desires and with its pleasures. وَلَوْ كَانَ فِيهَا سَقَطْ رَبِّهِ Even if that entails earning the anger of its Lord. Now, فَهُوَ مُتَعَبِّدْ لِغَيْرِ اللَّهِ And so he's a servant to other than Allah. This is Ibn Al-Qayyim. He's saying that he, by way of this, he is a servant to other than Allah. And as Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, he, he, he mentions in the Quran, إِن كُلُّمْ مَنْ فِي السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ إِلَّا آتِ الرَّحْمَانِ عَبْدًا Now, that there is none in the heavens and the earth except that he would come to Ar-Rahman as a slave, as a servant. Now, أَنْتَ عَبْدًا Shaykh al he says, أَنْتَ عَبْدًا You're a servant. Imma Abd Salih, either you are a servant who is upright and righteous, wa imma Abd Kafir, or a servant who is a disbeliever. Al Kafir, Abdun Lillah, even the Kafir, he's a servant of Allah, he's a slave of Allah. Lakinnahu Asallah, wa naam, innahu Abdun Lillah. However, he disobeys Allah. Al-Ubudiyya ala qismain. Ubudiyya, servitude, is of two types. Ubudiyya amma, yani that general servitude, hada la yakhruj anhu ahad. No one, yani, is exempt from this. Every single person is a slave to Allah. The, the, the Muslim and the, and, and the Kafir. Every single person is a, is a servant to Allah. This is the Ubudiyya Amma, general servitude. And then we have Ubudiyya Khasa, a servitude which is specific. Wahiyya, 
Ubudiyatul Mu'minin Lillah Azza wa Jal And that is the servitude of the believers The servitude of the believers And the worship of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala Naam Naam, and so this This heart here Ibn Al-Qaim he says فَمُخَالَطَتْ صَاحِبَهِ حَابَ الْقَلْبِ سُقْمُ That mixing with the companion of this heart, the heart which is dead, if you mix with this individual whose heart is dead, it is سُقْمُ It is sickness. You'll get sick. You'll get sick by mixing with this heart. Oh, oh صَاحِبَ حَابَ الْقَلْبِ نعم وَمُعَاشَرَتُهُ وَمُعَاشَرَتُهُ سَمْ and keeping company with it is poison. halak. And sitting with it is destruction. يعني أنك تتأثر به. Sheikh Al Fawzan, Allah, he says, meaning that you will be, you will be affected by that heart. You will be affected by that heart of your of, of your companion. If he if that's who you take as a companion. فَقَدْ شَبَّحَ النَّبِيَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ فَإِنْدِيهِ دَ رَسُولُ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ He likened the Jaleesa Salih the, يعني, the righteous uh, companion يعني, who you sit with He likened him to who? The perfume seller The perfume seller Either you're going to buy something from him Either you're going to purchase something from him Or Mother, he's going to Gift you Give, يعني, give you something from his perfume, a freebie as they say. He gives you a freebie, he gives you, يعني, he gives you something. If you don't buy something, he'll give you something. Or, على الأقل, at, the least, at the very least, you leave with a good smell. You leave with a good smell. Now, the hadith, you all know the hadith. You know what? Then the example of the, يعني, the bad companion is that of the blacksmith. That of the blacksmith. Yani, either you're going to find from him an evil stench, or yani, he's going to burn your garments. Now, al-qalb al-thalith, the third heart. Qalb lahu haya wa bihi illa. The heart which has life, but it has an illa. Yani, it has a sickness. Shaykh, he says, hala al-marid. This is the marid. This is the one that is sick. فَلَهُ It has it has two components, two or two substances. تَمُدُّهُ هَذِهِ مَرَّةً وَهَذِهِ أُخْرَى يعني one time this substance overtakes it and spreads throughout it, and at another time the other substance spreads and overtakes. This is the heart that is sick, you know. فَمَنْ غَلَبَ عَلَيْهِ مِنْهُمَا فَهُوَ تَبَعًا لَهُمْ And so whichever of these substances overpowers him, then he follows them. And he follows them. نعم. نعم. فَفِيهِ مِنْ حَمَحَبَّةِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى وَالْإِيمَانُ بِهِ وَالْإِخْلَاسُ لَهُ So in that heart is the heart that is sick. It has within it the love of Allah. Tabarak wa ta'ala It has iman And it has ikhlas towards him Wa tawakkul alayhi And relying upon him Ma huwa madatu hayatih That which is the source of life in his heart That is what gives him That life that he does have That, that one Yani half of, yani That substance or that matter which is pure And that which gives him Gives his the heart life And it yani makes it so that is, it is not completely dead وَفِيهِ مِنْ مَحَبَّةِ الشَّحَوَاتِ وَإِثَارُهَا وَالْحِفْصِ عَلَى تَحْسِيلِهَا And in it, at the same time, is the love of shahawat, of desires, وَإِثَارُهَا And giving preference to, 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 to these desires. Uh, and يعني, that determination يعني, to fulfill those desires. Hmm? Hasad, kibr jealousy, Kibar, arrogance, al ujub and being amazed, self amazement, hub al ulu, fil arf, and some of these uh, topics which uh, our brothers 
Asatidha will يعني, discuss with you those these matters which يعني, um, corrupt the heart. Riyasa, leadership, the love of leadership and so on. Ma huwa madatu halakih wa'atabih. Yani these affairs that which make up that component and substance within his heart which is yani the, 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 the components of his destruction. Destruction, na'am, halakih wa'atabih is similar meaning. Wa huwa muntahan bayna da'iyayn that this heart is put to trial يعني, by way of da'yain, two callers. Between two callers, he has two يعني, matters or two uh, يعني, callers calling him. Now, da' yad'u ila Allah wa rasuli wa dar al akhirah. One who invites him and calls him to. Allah and to his Rasul and to Dar al-Akhirah and the other that calls him to Al-Ajila that calls him to the life of this dunya وَهُوَ إِنَّمَا يُجِيبُ أَقْرَبَهُمَا مِنْهُ بَابًا كَلَامْ نَفِيسَ لِلَّهُوَ He only ends up answering and responding to the one whose door is the closest to him or the closest to his heart وَأَدْنَاهُمَا إِلَيْهِ جِوَارًا And the closest of the two, يعني, as a neighbor. Now, يعني, each one of these two callers, whoever he is closest to, and whoever, whoever's door is closest to him. Now, عِنْدَهُ مَلَكْ وَعِنْدَهُ شَيْطَانٌ يعني, He has an angel, and he has a shaytan. الملك يدعوه إلى الجنة the angel calls him to, to paradise, and shaitan calls him to the fire, and to al-shahwat. So he ends up belonging to whoever overpowers him from these two callers. Now, and this is the example of the mu'min al-asi, the mu'min al-asi. And as it's coming in the hadith, you look at the hadith where in Rasulullah he said that the uh, malak. He has يعني, a, a, a limma بقلب ابن آدم He has يعني, a visit, a, يعني, a call يعني, upon the heart of the son of Adam. Well, shaitan likewise, he has a visit to the heart of ابن آدم. The angel, his visit is one and his call is one of Iad. بالخير والتصديق بالوعد يعني he promises him good and he confirms the promise of Allah to him as for shaitan when he visits he promises him شر he promises him evil meaning and as it becomes clear uh, for Rasul Sallallahu when he mentioned this he then Recited an ayah. So Shaytan, he promises him shar, evil, and takdeeb al wa'd. And he yani, uh, causes him to deny the, uh, the promise of Allah. Thumma qara. Then he recited the Messenger of Allah. Al Shaytan, ya'idukum al faqr wa ya'murkum bil fahsha. Shaytan promises you that yani, if you spend in the way of Allah, if you go out for jihad and you spend in the way of Allah, then, يعني, or if you, يعني, um, that your children, that your children will cause you to be, huh? يعني, نعم, to, to be, uh, cause you to be poor. Now, Allah Ta'ala, he, Ibn Qayyim, he says that he combined between all these three hearts in his saying in the Quran. ما يلقي الشيطان فتنة للذين في قلوبهم مرض والقاسية والقاسية قلوبهم. So look, the first two hearts are mentioned. Now, ليجعل الله that that he may Allah تبارك وتعالى that he may make that which a shaitan throws to بني آدم فتنة a trial. 
to those whose hearts في قلوبهم مرض those who have a sickness in their heart والقاسية قلوبهم and those whose hearts are hardened نعم until Allah Taala says he mentions يعني وإن وإن الظالمين في شقاق بعيد وليعلم الذين أوتوا العلم أنه الحق من ربك and that those who have been given knowledge that they may know that it is the truth from their Lord فَيُؤْمِنُوا بِهِ and so they believe in it فَتُخْبِتَ لَهُ قُلُبُهُمْ and so they, yeah, they, 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 their hearts submit to him with humility so the, the three hearts are mentioned here the three hearts now فَالْمَفْتُونَانِ the, 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 the heart, the two hearts that are put to trial is the qalb which has marv the qalb, the qalb which is sick and the heart which is qasi the heart which is stiffened and hardened نعم إن غلب عليه مرض مرضه التحق بالميت القاسي if his sickness overcomes him, overpowers him, then he is joined along with the heart which is qasi, the heart which is stiffened and hardened. So the heart which is sick, if it, yani he is overpowered by that sickness, he is then, eventually he is joined along with the heart which is hardened. And yani it becomes a heart that is hardened. And if he is overpowered and overcome by the uh, يعني, the, the, the sihha and the soundness that is within his heart that sound component and pure component that is within his heart then he is joined along with the heart that is same now and so shaitan he throws into the ears from the alfab from the various utterances and into the hearts from the various doubts يعني, all of this is a fitna a trial for these two hearts and it is quwa lil qalb al hay al salim but it is a source of strength for the heart which is salim and the heart which is alive qala hudayf ibn yaman so the sahabi al jalil hudayf ibn yaman radiyallahu anhu he said qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam the hadith in the sahih of imam muslim tu'rad al fitn على القلوب كعرض الحصير عودا عودا فتن trials will be presented to the hearts as the reed mat is interwoven the reed mat يعني you know the reed mat those mats which are يعني uh, woven with يعني uh, bamboo and يعني other plant materials just as the reed mat is interwoven stick by stick Interwoven, yani. you all know what I mean. Meaning that fitan will come, yani, and they are interwoven, yani, fitna after fitna, udan, udan, fitna after fitna, yani, fitna comes, and then before that fitna is over, another fitna comes. This is the meaning here. فَأَيُّ قَلْبِ أَشْرَبُهَا نُكِتَتْ فِيهِ So whichever heart absorbs, absorbs, Afman, absorbs, these trials then it will have a black mark put, put on it a, a, a dark a black mark put on it and whichever heart rejects these fitum then a white mark is put on it a place on it up until the hearts are boiled down to two hearts they come and result you know, end uh, with being two hearts. Qalb aswad, the heart which is dark, black. Murbada, murbada, yani uh, ashen in color, and it resembles ashes. Kalku, kalkuz, mujakhian. Yani kalam of the Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam, like the vessel that is overturned, like the vessel that is overturned. La yarif ma'rufan. وَلَا يُنْكِرْ مُنْكَرًا It doesn't recognize good, 
nor does it reject evil. Now, Sheikh Al-Fatan says, Al-Fitan, this is Imam Ibn Qayyim, he says, Al-Fitan, so these fitan which are presented to the hearts, then they are the reasons, or yeah, now the reasons for their sickness. وَهِيَ فِتْنَ الشَّحَوَاتِ وَفِتْنَ الشُّبُهَاتِ And these fitn are trials, the trials of desires and the trials of doubts. Now, وَفِتْنَ الْغَيْ وَالْضَلَالِ وَفِتْنَ الْمَعَاسِ وَالْبِدَعِ وَفِتْنَ الظُّلْمِ وَالْجَهَلِ The trials of uh, misguidance and deviation and disobedience and sin and bid'ah and oppression and, and ignorance. And so Sheikh Al-Fawzani he says, Al-Fitan ala qismain. Fitan trials are of two types. Fitan al shubuhat the trials of doubts. Hadi takun fil aqidah. This is in the aqidah. The trials of doubts occur in the aqidah. The doubts of Ahlul Balal, Ahlul Zayq, Ahlul Ilhad, Ahlul Tasawwuf, and Ahlul Shirk. The doubts of the people of misguidance and deviation, the people of heresy, the people of Tasawwuf, of Sufiya, and the people of Shirk. These are doubts, these are fitan which bring about doubts, and the fitan of Shubahat. Now, the second type of fitan is fitan al Shahawat. التي تشتهيها النفس That which the soul desires So they are the forbidden matters from the uh, from zina from sharb al-khamr the drinking of intoxicants al-ghiba backbiting the mima يعني, uh, tail carrying وشحوة الحسد and the desire of al-hasad, of envy and jealousy, na'am, and other than that, these are the fitan of shahawat. So upon a Muslim is to be cautious from these fitan, the fitan of shahawat, because they are, the shaykh, he says, kathira mughriya, they are many and they are enticing. Fitnat hubb al-mal, fitnat hubb al-nisa, fitnat hubb al-awlad, fitan la tuhsa, Fit, the fitting of يعني, the love of wealth, the love of women, the love of children. Trials which cannot be enumerated. Now, the fitting of looking to that which Allah has made haram. The fitting of listening to that which Allah has made haram. يعني, many. The fitting to shubuhat, the fitting of, of, of doubts, they are in aqidah. That which are displayed to a person from doubts and from misguidance. And the callers to evil, the du'at, the callers of evil and how many they are in these times. And in the various يعني, uh, Platforms, the, you know, through social media and so on, you know, whether that is through videos or through audio, well, مواقع, and through you know, the internet and websites and so on, what Twitter art, and through Twitter and so on, you know, these various platforms. <laughs> these means have now are in the hands of the people of. Uh, shubuhat, the people of doubts, they throw their evil يعني, at the hearts by way of these wasail, by way of these means, and they spread them. Now, now, فَيَسْلِ إِلَى كُلْ مَنْ يَنْظُرْ أَوْ يَسْمَعْ هَذِي الْوَسَائِلِ So these doubts, they reach anybody who looks يعني, to these wasail, these various means and platforms, or listens to them. Now, 
ولا شك أن دعاة الضلال يركزون على هذا النوع من الفتن. And there's no doubt that the callers to misguidance they focus يعني on this type of fitting. And they focus on these means nowadays. They look what? Through YouTube and through يعني Twitter and through the various platforms. يعني how many there are and how many are للأسف الشديد أيها الأخوة from our brothers and sisters who are put to trial through these affairs يعني listening to do art and يعني taking their, their religion from from anybody and everybody كل من حب ودب on the internet and from يعني on YouTube and all of these places and so the kalam of the, of the Sheikh أيها الأخوة you see that يعني kalam and speech يعني of one who knows is fully aware of that which is affecting يعني the Muslimin and, and, and يعني that which the du'a to su يعني are up to نعم and so all of the fitting go back to these two to these two affairs either they are fitting of shubahat fitting and trials يعني which entail doubts or trials and fitting which call to the fulfilling of uh, al-shahawat of desire one's desires نعم so Amr al-Fitan al-Ikhwa al-Azim The affair of knowing this يعني, The affair of Fitan and the types of Fitan is, is something يعني, a Muslim needs to know Faqih Al-Faqih Fi Amr al-Fitan al-Ikhwa Man huwa The Faqih of this Ummah يعني, The Sahaba Ba'd al-Sahaba lahum al-Qab Some of the Sahaba يعني, they had nicknames But the Faqih of this Ummah The Faqih, faqih of the Sahaba the one who had that understanding, that deep understanding of fitting, was who? As we've said, the Sahaba, they had يعني, uh, nicknames Abu Bakr, Arfa, Ummati bi Ummati, or Arham, Ummati bi Ummati, as it's come in the hadith. Abu Bakr is the most merciful of my Ummah with my Ummah. Umar, Ashaddahum fi Dini la. Umar is the most severe and staunch in the, يعني, in the religion of Allah. أستقهم uh, حيان يعني the most shy, shy the, the shyest one from amongst them is who? Huh? عثمان أقضاهم علي أقضاهم يعني meaning يعني uh, the one who يعني uh, is يعني the the the, the, uh, the best when it comes to judging between the people that is why it is said to this day they have the same يعني if there's a, an affair and a judgment which needs to uh, يعني be carried out but it's a difficult judgment يعني and, and يعني it's a قضية يعني صعبة they have a saying قضية لا أبا حسن لها a matter for which there is no أبا أبا الحسن because علي was أبا الحسن نعم أقرأهم يعني the most knowledgeable with the Quran was who? Ubay bin Ka'ab. A'lamahum bil halal wal haram. Mu'ad bin Jamal. The Amin of, of this Ummah. The Amin, the, يعني the most trustworthy of this Ummah was who? Hmm? Abu Bayd bin Jarrah. Naam. But the Faqih of this Ummah, يعني as it relates to the Amr al Fitan, the one who was most knowledgeable concerning the Fitan is who? Hudayf ibn al-Yaman Hudayf ibn al-Yaman The rabbi of this of that hadith that, that come that came concerning the fitan and the Rasulullah when he mentioned that the fitan will be presented to the heart now and he, he, he was also a mere sir sir Rasulullah he was the one who يعني, was يعني, in charge of the secret of the Rasulullah meaning يعني, knowing the affairs and the ahwal of the munafiqeen and knowing their names Naam. And when the people used to ask the Rasulullah some concerning the khayr, he would ask about the shah. In fact, that hadith, that hadith which has proceeded, the hadith which is a Sahih Muslim, the hadith you read, the beginning of the hadith, then he said, Hudayf ibn Yaman, radiyahu anhu, he said, Kunna inda Umar, that we were with Umar. And so he asked, he said, Ayyukum sami'a Rasulullah which one of you heard the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Yadkur al-Fitan 
Which one of you heard the Rasulullah mentioned the fitan? And so, قَالَ قَوْمْ From the people, those who said, نَحْنُ سَنِعْنَا We heard it. And so Umar, he said, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْنُونَ فِتْنَةَ الرَّجُلْ فِي أَهْلِهِ وَجَارِهِ Perhaps you are referring to the fitna that the Rasulullah mentioned concerning those trials that will come to a man regarding his, uh, yani his um, family and his neighbor. He said, these affairs, the, the salah and the sadaqah and siyam will expiate and do away with those affairs. However, which one of you heard the, the Rasul which, but which one of you heard the Rasul Sallallahu mention that fitan which will come like the wave, the waves of the ocean? فَأَسْقَطَ الْقَوْمِ And so the people remain silent. فَقُلْتُ أَنَا So I said, me, I heard. And then he mentioned the hadith. And then he mentioned the hadith. So this is why he is. The faqih of this ummah as it relates to uh, يعني, uh, the affairs of fitan. And he himself, he mentioned concerning the hearts. He said, Al-Qulub. The Qulub, he divided them into four. He said, there is the Qalb which is Ajrad. Al-Qulub Arba. This is Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman. Sahab al-Jaleel. Radiyallahu anhu, he said that the hearts are of four types. Qalb Ajrad. That heart which is, يعني, um, which is free from bare, heart which is bare, and heart which is, يعني, um, يعني, it's, it's, it's bare, it is يعني, not covered with anything. It is free from every sickness, this is the meaning of Ajrad here, free from every sickness and free from everything besides Allah and His Messenger. Fihi siraj yuzhir. يعني, in it is light which glows. This is the heart of the believer. And the heart which is أغلف, يعني, it has a cover on it. There is a heart which has a cover on it. That is the heart of who? The heart of the kafir. Because kafir, anyway, cover, what does it mean? In its origin. To cover. To cover. Now, so this is the heart of the kafir, وَقَلْبْ mankus, And the heart, and then there is a heart which is mankus, yani it is overturned, it is upside down, or inver- inverted, yani. That is the heart of the munafiq, عَرَفْ ثُمَّ أَنْكَرْ وَأَبْصَرْ ثُمَّ عَمِي Yani, the heart of the, the hypocrite, one who knew, and then he rejected. One who saw, and then he became blind. And then you have the qalb tamadduhumadatan. Then you have the heart which has within it those two matters. Those two matters. It has life and it has yani, death within it. It has life and yani, it has sickness. Mother to iman. It has the mother of iman. Yani, it has a substance of iman and it has a substance of nifaq. And it has some nifaq also in it. Wa huwa lima ghalaba alayhi minhuma. We've heard this numerous times now. He, he sides with whichever of the two overpowers him. Now, and so the Sheikh he says, Sheikh al Fawzan, Hafidhullah Ta'ala, he says, Shuf, Hadihil Qulub. He says, Look, these are the hearts. Qalb Ajrat, heart which is, has nothing except for Allah and His Messenger within, his, within it. The heart which Yani glows and gives off light. This is the heart of the believer. Qalb aglaf. The heart which is covered, and that is the heart of the kafir. Qalb mankus, mujakhi. The heart which is inverted. The heart which is turned upside down. That is the heart of the munafiq. And then we have the heart, qalb bain wa bain. Heart which is in between. It has life in it and it has death within it. This is the heart of the marid, the marid. In the heart of the marid, the marid. 
وسلم if this if the iman that it has within it overcomes him then he's saved and yani he, he 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 is safe now wa in ghalaba alayhi madat al kufr halak if the substance of kufr the component of kufr overpowers him then he is destroyed now allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said in the quran hum lil kufri yawma idhin أقرب منهم للإيمان. شوف we see here يلوخوا. يعني that on that day they were from them those who were closer to kufr than إيمان. ابن كثير he said in 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 the تفسير of this استدلوا به على أن الشخص قد تتقلب به الأحوال. They use this. As a proof to say that an individual, that the affairs or the the, con, yani, the condition, yani, or, or the conditions that come upon this individual and his heart, yani, they yani, it fluctuates. His 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 state fluctuates. فيكون في حال أقرب إلى الكفر. يعني in one state, he is closer to kufr. And another, another state, he's closer to Iman. And so the Shaykh, he says, Ta'al Shuf Qalbaq. And hence the title of, 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 of this particular lecture. Ta'al Shuf Qalbaq. Al Ghazan, Hafidullah Ta'ala, he says, Come and look to your heart. Ay Hadi al huwa. Which of these hearts is it, does it belong to? Now, I'arid Qalbaq ala Hadi al Qulub. Yani display your heart besides these hearts that you've heard. Now, and so upon us that your ikhwa is to uh, yani, uh, be concerned with the affair of our hearts and for us to look into our hearts. And there's no, there's no doubt that the heart which is successful is that heart, that qalb salim, sahih. However, how many from amongst us have a marv? Within our hearts, or even amrab, or even, يعني amrab, numerous, يعني uh, diseases. Naam, that which requires us to, يعني purify our hearts, and that we, we treat them, that we treat them with the ibadah of Allah تبارك وتعالى, and يعني through His obedience, by carrying out His commands, by Staying away from the prohibitions, a rajoo' in Allah Taala to return back to Him with tawbah and istighfar. Naam, that we follow Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in all our affairs, and that we put forward and above everything else the mahabba for Allah Taala and His Rasul, and that we. Be alongside and be with the people of Sunnah and the people of the Jama'ah, and that we make our hearts those hearts which which are ajrad, have nothing but yani, the, the 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 love of Allah Taala uh, and and His Rasul وسلم, within them. Naam, and that we are with the Haq and the Kun Ma'al Haq Ayyul Ikhwa Heith Heith Dar. Naam, that we with the truth and the people of truth wherever the truth is and whoever it is with naam and upon us likewise is to beware of the shubahat the shubahat the doubts the people of shubahat and the people who bring these shubahat the duat who, who call to their, to their doubts and likewise that we are cautious concerning the shahawat. Our brothers Ta'ala will address some of these amrav of the heart. And that which the heart or anyone who is afflicted by these amrav يعني, uh, يعني needs to strive يعني, in order to purify his heart from these sicknesses. Al-kibr, al-hasr. And the hub and nafs, jealousy and arrogance and يعني, loving 
يعني وبين اميز بيت ون سوف حب المال والجاء وحب الرياسة والشهرة يعني the love of leadership and the love of fame and the love يعني of, of, of wealth and so on status it is not sufficient أيها الأخوة that we that we mention these affairs and that we simply يعني acknowledge them because Ibn Qayyim himself he mentions we didn't mention this within يعني the, the, يعني what we uh, what has proceeded but from the kalam of the imam is an important point which we have to mention and that is that he said that the hayat al-qalb wa sihhatuhu la tahsul illa bi an yakun mudrikan lil haq the life of the heart and its soundness it is not acquired it cannot be acquired except that it has to be the heart has to be mudrikan lil haq it has to understand and know and acquire the knowledge of, of the truth. It has to know what the truth is. Muridan lahu. The heart needs to want the truth and act upon the truth. Now, Mu'thiran lahu ala ghayri. It gives pres- يعني, precedence and preference to the truth over all else. As Sheikh Bozar, on this point, he said, Mudrkan lil haq bi ma'afat al haq min al batil. That it knows the truth from falsehood. So that it can hold on to the truth and follow the truth and stay away from batil, from falsehood. Now, أما الذي ما يعرف الحق من الباطل يصير كله عنده سواء. As for the one who is not able to distinguish and doesn't know truth from falsehood, then everything becomes يعني one thing to him. It's all the same to him. نعم. ولا يكفي أن يكون عارفا بالحق أيضا. And it is not sufficient that that he knows the truth. That is not sufficient. لا بد أن يكون مريدا له. It is necessary that he he wants it and he he acts upon it. لِأَنَّ أَكْثَرَ عَلَمَاءَ الضَّلَالِ هَلَكُوا وَهُمْ عَلَمَاءَ Because many or most of the ulama, those who had knowledge, became misguided. The ulama bala scholars of misguidance, who became misguided, and then who go on to misguide others, halaku, they were destroyed, wahum ulama, whilst they were ulama, scholars, لأنهم لم يريدوا الحق, because they didn't want the truth, and didn't act upon the truth, didn't act, this comes even to the ulama, so how about us? فهلكوا وهم ulama, so they were destroyed, whilst they were scholars, فالعبرة ما هي بكثرة العلم, so the affair is not about the abundance of knowledge, but it is al-ilm wal amal. It is it is knowledge and action. Now, how long until Maghrib? Ten minutes. Now, and so how many of you are deceived? How many are deceived when they acquire that ilm? When they acquire that ilm. And then, then this individual, he thinks that that is sufficient. And because he knows, yani he knows that he's better than Fulan and Fulan. He's better than the one who's misguided. He's better than the one who's not practicing. He's better than the Sufi and the, the one upon Bid'ah. Hmm? Yani he acquires something from Ilm, but he forgets to act upon the Ilm. Now, and so that results in the lack of action and it, it results in the abandonment of, of the truth and that which the truth necessitates. This is a trap from Shaitan and a trap which he mentions elsewhere. Ibn Qayyim in I'lan um, al-Waqi'in In I'lan al-Waqi'in after mentioning Ibn Qayyim Kalam, again Nafis Kalam Nafis He says after mentioning that the uh, fusaq of Ahl Sunnah 
that the most that the sinful ones of Ahl Sunnah, Qubur Fusak Ahl Sunnah, roll them in Riyadh al Jannah. Look how Shaitan, he's going to mention here how Shaitan comes and sets a trap to the one who has ilm, guided to ilm, mudrikan in ilm. He, yani, this, this individual, yani, he's guided to ilm, and then he becomes, yani, deceived. And so Ibn Qayyim, he mentions that when an individual he realizes when he's guided to the truth and he realizes that Fusaq, Ahl Sunnah, the sinful from Ahl Sunnah, their graves, Quburum, their graves is a garden from the Riyadh Jannah, from the gardens of Jannah, and the Qubur of the Ubad of Ahl Bid'ah, and the graves of the worshippers, the Ubad from Ahl Bid'ah, that they are. Hufra min hufra al nar that they, yani, within their graves is a pit from the pits of the hellfire and yani, he becomes deceived he thinks yani, alhamdulillah I'm upon sunnah I'm upon sunnah and even if I'm sinful even if I don't act even if I'm negligent concerning yani, the wajibat even if I fall into some of the sins the, the, the kaba'ir and so on alhamdulillah my aqidah is sound and I'm, 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 and I'm with ahli sunnah and I've been guided to the sunnah, I'm better than him. Because look at this, this, this what, what the salaf would say. And he brings more. That uh, a tamasuk, a tamasuk, bis sunnah, you kafir al kabair, kama anna mukhalafat al sunnah, tahbit al hasanat. This is all kalam of Ibn Qayyim. That the salaf would say. That Holding on to the sunnah expiates the major sins. And of course, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, this is true. Everything he's mentioning is true. That the holding on to the sunnah, and the person being from Ahli Sunnah, holding on to the sunnah, the aqidah of the people's sunnah, and sticking with them, this is from the greatest of good deeds. Yeah, yeah, a deed which will expiate from him the major sins. Because it's from the best of actions. Just as opposing the sunnah, it nullifies the good deeds. So all of this, the servant, he thinks this. And likewise, he mentions, again, that he's deceived. Shaitan comes and he says this to an individual. You, or sunni, ahlu sunnah, in qa'adat bihim a'maluhum, qa'amat bihim aqa'idahum, the people of Sunnah, if their actions let them down, their aqidah upholds them. Hmm? The aqidah is more important. Yeah, and even if your actions you, yeah, and you, you let you down, yeah, your aqidah is sound. And the people of innovation, if their actions raise them, meaning they, are, they have abundant actions, Principle in their actions, ta'adat bihim, aqa'idahum. Their beliefs drag them down. So, Shaitan, what does he do? He comes and he says, Look at all of this. Huh? Yani, ma'alik, don't worry about, don't worry about, yani, the salah. Don't worry about yani, for, yani, this, the, the wajibat, some of yani, the wajibat. Then he comes and he says, Yani, as long as your aqidah is sound. So you neglect for consider the salat, neglect for consider siyam and zakat and so on. Hmm? What does he do? A shaytan, Ibn Qayyim mentions that a shaytan, awwal shay, yahris ali, the first thing that he is determined to do when he comes to the servant is to, to, and, and yuqa'hu, yahris ala and yuqa'hu fi shirk. He's determined to cause him to fall into a shirk and kufr. The greatest of sins. That is what he's most determined to do. But in Lam Yajid Sabilan ila dhalik, but if he doesn't find a way to do that, and he's not able to enter because his aqid is too strong, and he has his sahib tawheed, will not fall into a shirk, then what does he do? 
he becomes determined to cause him to fall into mother a bid'ah bid'ah before the kaba'id because al bid'ah is from the kaba'id but but is akbar kaba'id after the shirk and kufr after shirk and kufr the basis of the kaba'id is al bid'ah why because a person he believes he's doing good hmm? and from bid'ah those of faiz those of affairs which yani are kufr and shirk yani from the worshiping of the salihin and the awliya by their graves and so on and the beliefs which they have innovated and the ibadat which they have innovated which attempt, attempt uh, yani, uh, yani, uh, equate to mother shirk or kufr and if he's not able to do that then what does he do? Huh? He is Haris, determined to then cause him to fall into the Kabair. So then he falls into the Kabair, the major sins. Hmm? And if he's not able to do that then, to leave off the wajibat. Look at the angles that he comes. These are the angles that he comes. He comes with. Now, Shaitan when he Ibn Qayyim and this is this is going back to the Kitab Ilat al He says that when Iblis knew this, he taught his Ikhwan from the Shaytan and from the, the, the ins. A Shaytan, when he knew this, and he taught his brothers from the Shaytan and from yani, the men. That if you, yani, that you, if you want to misguide the son of Adam, that you come to him through that bab, through that door, which you have bona. Yani, come at him from an angle, yani, uh, yani, in those things that he, uh, yani, to those things which he loves, and those things which he has a desire for. Now. Because it is a bab. La yukhdal an hajatihi man dakhala minu. Because it is a door that if a person comes to the door, if he sees an individual, look, he can't. He, the shaitan, he, he sees that this individual will not يعني, commit shirk with Allah. Then what does he do? يعني, he leaves that bab and he comes to another bab. نختم بهذا أيها الإخوة and to finish Ibn Qayyim he says من رام الدخول من غيره that whoever tries to enter from other than that door يعني from his, so he taught his brothers from the shayateen if you try to enter through a door يعني other than the door which that individual يعني uh, loves Yani, or yani, his weak spot, if you like. Yani, if you try to enter through a door which yani, uh, is sa'ab, then yani, uh, you won't be successful. Now, and so, enter through the door which yani, is easy. Now, and so, Adam, alayhi salam, what was the first cave of shaitan? What was the first cave? 
the first trap that he said, the very first trap. Awal makar, awal kayf, ma huwa. What was the very first trap? Ewa. What was the very first trap Shaitan said? Hmm? Now, he caused Adam to and his wife to be expelled from Jannah. But what was the trap? What was the trap? That's yani, that, that was the result. What was the trap? To eat from the tree, sir. To eat from the tree. Hmm? Yani, was he able to was he able to cause Adam to commit shirk with Allah He wasn't able to do that. So he came from a bab which is easy. And a bab which he saw that Adam, that's the way through to him. That's the way through. So he wasn't able to cause him to commit shirk with Allah or, or kufr. He wasn't able to do that. But he came from the angle of the kabair, yani, to disobey Allah ta'ala. Hmm? and the ma'asiyah, and through that way. Naam. And so, what was the case? What was the case? The makam. Hmm? What did he say to him? هَلْ أَدُلُّكَ عَلَىٰ شَجَرٍ شَجَرٍ شَجَرَةِ الْخُلْدِ وَمُلْكِ اللَّهِ يَبْلَىٰ Shall I not يعني, uh, tell you of a tree or, or point you towards a tree? A tree يعني, which if you eat from, it is شَجَرَةِ الْخُلْدِ Free of eternity, يعني, you become immortal وَمُلْكٍ لَا يَبْلَىٰ يعني, And you will have a dominion which will not perish. Ibn Qayyim, he says, that this here, he says that this is awal makar, awal kaid. Samma tilka shajara, shajara al khuld. This was the very first trap. Naming, yani, look at this slide that you look for. Naming, uh, naam, he says, tasmiyatu al umur al muharrama bil asma alati tuhibbu al nufus. يعني تحب تحبه تحب النفوس مسمياتها. That was the old fitna. يعني naming those affairs which are forbidden with other than their names, names which this the nufus love to hear. He called the shajara shajara al khud, shajara al khud, and يعني the tree of eternity. And the tree which will bestow him with a kingdom which will not perish. And so the chef, he, uh, the Imam, he mentions, "Nam, wa waritha atba'hu tasmiyatu al-umur al-muharrama bil asma. Nam, al-latif tuhibhu nufus musammiyatiha." And so the followers of Shaytan they inherited this from him. Those who name those matters which are forbidden with other than their names. Names which the nafs loves to hear. Hmm? Even from the jama'at, jama'at tabliq. Names which pe- people love to hear. Tabliq. Da'wah. Da'wah to what? Quburi. Sufi. Jama'at to jihad. Jihad, but the reality is that it's fasad upon the earth. Hmm? Jama'at to ikhwan. Ikhwan al muslimin. Yani, this is. Yani, the Muslim Brotherhood to unite as brothers. The reality is, it is it is ijtima' al batil. It is ijtima' al batil. So they've inherited this from Shaytan. This was the very first cave, the very first makkah. Naam. And so when he when a Shaytan he came to Adam. Hmm, Ibn Qayyim he says that Adam did not did not yet know. That he would die. And so when he said to him, that if you eat from this tree, that you will be like them, uh, Mother, Malakain, O Takuna, Min al Khalidin. Your Lord did not forbid you from this tree ex- yani, except that yani, He didn't want you. Yani to become like the angels. 
like the angels and that you will live therein forever. So shaitan came to him with this shubha. Hmm? And Adam, he also had this shahwa. فَاجْتَمَعَتْ الشُّبَهَ وَالشَّهْوَ So they came together, shubha and shahwa. These two fitting. Because everything goes back to these two fitting. The shubha of, يعني, of, of, of the tree. Like your Lord did not want you to uh, يعني, approach the tree except for this reason. Hmm? And shahwa because he loved that which was in Jannah and wanted to live there in forever. And he desired to live therein forever and to be like the angels. Thereafter, when he wasn't able to cause Adam and Hawa to fall into shirk, the sons of Adam again, the Tawheed of Allah and Iman in Allah was strong. So much so that he wasn't able to, to cause them to fall into shirk and kufr. But then what does he do? He comes from another bab. So he came from the bab of the kaba'ir again. Al-Hasad. Envy. Uh, when he calls the, yani, the, the brother of Adam, uh, the son of Adam, one of the sons, to envy the other. And Al-Qatal. He caused him to kill him. Up until... There came Qum Nuh. And then he saw, yeah, and, and he threw his shubahat. Then he was able to cause him to fall into a shirk billah. Hada wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam al-Nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam al-Jamaheen. Zakhmullah khayna yubah.